Life is depressing. Why live if it's going to be like this? Because I'm too afraid to die. You don't know how depressing it is to be to have this constant congestion in my ear that seems sometimes connected to my herniated bulging discs. To me, all I want to do is lie in bed all day long and know that the rest of my life is going to be like that. This. But you're too afraid to kill yourself because that damn God. Yes, I look at people like this, this girl right here. God hates her. And that depresses me. The Bible does not say that God hates the sin and loves the sinner. The Bible says God hates the sinner. Look in Psalms 5. Just look there for a moment. Psalms 5. Now, you know that wonderful statement that goes something like this? God loves the sinner and hates the sin? Just look at this text. Is that what it teaches? It's not what it teaches. I'm sorry. I know it's a pretty thing to say and it looks good on the back of a contemporary Christian t-shirt, but it's not what the Scriptures teach. It does not say here that God's hatred is manifested towards the wicked deed. It says God's hatred is manifested towards the one who commits it. God is love, but this loving God hates. He will hate you with a perfect hatred. He will hate you and He will have you. That is the fearsomeness of hell. The text we read says that those in hell, they are going to be tormented. Where? In the presence of the holy angels and of the Lamb. What kind of God? What kind of God have we, we got? I hate this God. But at the same time, I need God. I cannot live like this. This goddamn congested my ear, and these goddamn doctors cannot figure it out what it is. If I just could talk myself into it to kill myself, never had to feel this fucking shit again. But what if I go to hell? Damn. Always doing that, trying to do that, trying to decongest in my ear. My fucking ear won't decongest. Like I read in the chiropractor's office. Think that ear, you think that earache is the result of antibiotic shortage? Try chiropractic. So I'm hoping that's a clue that that these fucking herniated bulging discs in my neck are causing this. Every other day, I wake up almost boozy from this ear congestion. I've tried antibiotics, the only te temporary help. I've tried everything. I've tried... What's that shit? Hold on. I tried Meclizine. The only time that helps is when they give it to me at a hospital. The pills they give me to take home don't work so well. Man, I have nothing to be happy about. Life is great. My dreams, I had a dream last night about a guy in a wheelchair pushing himself down the road. I'm, I'm thinking, man... What if a car comes along and busts him out, up? But that's the only way he had to ambulate. Gray, gray, gray. If only I knew. I just wish I could kill. I just wish I could kill myself. Dr. Oz ain't helping. The doctors are around here can't pinpoint what the fuck is wrong. Medicaid won't cover what I need. Artificial discs surgery. Pulse electromagnetic field therapy. Stem cells. 
folks, you know you're in hell when you don't want to live anymore, but you're too chicken shit to fucking kill yourself. And when God, that goddamn God, God is love, but this God hates. God does not love me. Where's some tenderness from this goddamn God? Some tender love. Where's that from him? If he is capable of capable of giving it. I just want me I would fulfill my dream, but God condemned him condemned me there. Who whosoever saveth his life shall lose it. But there are Christians who are living it up. True Christians, but getting they'll get no reward in heaven. I want to be one of those.